Howdy ho guys and gals, Jeff King here, back again in the Den of Tools, and I, we're getting to one of the most requested videos I've had in some time, which is, please help me out with some gift ideas for the tool bear or tool guy in my life. So I drew some inspiration looking back at all the Christmases I spent. This is my grandfather right here. This is from back in the 70s. There's some, some throwback there. In fact, there's a pic of me with him. And yes, I am holding a what is now a vintage Aquaman action figure. Can't even imagine how much that thing is worth these days. But let's jump into it and let's talk about some great gift ideas for the tool guy or tool bear in your life. Now, first things first, I'm just going to say this. You probably, now maybe you're different, but you probably want to avoid tools. And I'm going to say that because if they're anything like me, they're very particular about what tools they want. And, and as my wife always says, she's like, I don't, she's like, I don't even try anymore. I just know that whatever I buy is going to be the wrong thing. So anyway, and, and I feel for it. I feel really bad about that. But, you know, let's try to get, let's, let's call it tool adjacent here. And we're going to talk a lot of traditional gifts here. Uh, if the man in, in, or guy in your life doesn't have this, this is, these are going to be must have kind of things. First off, every man, as my grandfather once told me when I was little, every man must have on him at any given time a pocket knife. And I can't think of anything more quintessentially American, traditional than the Buck 110 pocket knife. I know Case, a lot of people are big fans of Case. I think Case makes great quality, but I like the shape and the feel of the Buck knives. Now, the Buck 110, still made in the USA. This is a classic, quintessential knife, just a general all-arounder there. It's got a locking blade. I won't use a pocket knife anymore that doesn't have a locking blade. And, uh, and for $60, this is a good, solid home run kind of gift that anybody would be happy to get. Now, next up after that, we're going to talk about something a little quirky. You know, if you're if you're a coffee drinker or he's a coffee drinker and, uh, you know, everyone gets a coffee mug. Everyone, how many coffee mugs? I don't even drink coffee. I don't know how many coffee mugs I have. But get him the coffee horn, the goat story mug, real leather in, in a, this is essentially a coffee mug in, in a goat horn shape so you can drink your coffee like the Vikings did. <laughs> $34.50. This is, this is a pretty cool little thing here. Look at that. You can walk around and look at, you could be, uh, look at that. That is, it's a cool piece. And I, you know what? I always love leather uh, in anything. So you're going to see that as kind of a, a theme here. Next up, we've got key rings because a little bit of EDC kind of stuff in here. This is the Key Unity Titanium uh, key ring. Now, I've gone through a lot of key rings in my life. In fact, my favorite key ring just broke and i was just looking for a new key ring to replace it and i think this is going to be the one right here titanium it's got the leather strap i always love the little natural feeling in there uh, i don't like the really hot cold techy look kind of stuff a lot of the stuff especially the ed stuff likes to edc stuff likes to go for so i think this kind of mixes the best of both worlds and for 21 dollars you know, you get that nice natural feel. You get the titanium hook on it or, or key ring on it. Uh, or carabiner is what I mean to say. And I think that's a great deal for $21. Now, next up, you got to have, you know, if you're going to drink, you got to drink like a man. So we got two options for you. If, for the beer drinkers out there, we got the traditional Munchen. Munchen, is that how you pronounce it? We used to call it Munich. I'm asking the wife over here. Munchen. Munchen. I can never pronounce it right. And I'm allegedly German, uh, one liter HB uh, Hofbrau or uh, Mucan dimpled glass beer stein for $21. This is, if you were to go to Oktoberfest, this is very similar to the kind of beer steins that they would serve you with. So, you know, if you're going to have a good beer, first of all, you know, uh, if you're going to be drinking beer, Spotten is is my choice there. I'm not a huge beer drinker, but Spotten's where I'd go. But more up my speed is how about a nice whiskey glass, old-fashioned whiskey glass with cigar holder in it, kind of mixing the best of both worlds there. This is a great little glass, nice little fun little novelty kind of thing. So definitely something that they probably don't have, you know what I mean? Look at that. That is great. $21, basically $22, call it what it is. Look at that. That is great. Now, of course, if they're going to go that route, you know, the next step is you got to get them a traditional cigar holder. I don't smoke a lot of cigars. I have a couple, you know, throughout the month, so, you know, over the year kind of thing. Every now and then having, you know, a nice leather cigar case, you got the, the, the snips right in there with it. Uh, the uh, This is a great way to, if for somebody who's looking to get started traveling with cigars, this is a great way to do it. Uh, you're looking at $28 on that. 
Um, now, next up, you know, you got to light your cigars. And everyone says do it with matches and stuff. I don't like carrying matches. And I think another EDC must have is a good, uh, you know, a, a good lighter. But, and, I, and everyone loves a Zippo, all right? I've been around years and years, and I always I had Zippos for years. And, it, you know, but, but trying to keep them refilled, you know, the, the fluid evaporates and stuff like that. So here's a $20, $51, cent $20, $20, Zippo. But here's a modern update to that that actually won't ruin the taste of your cigar. And that is the butane lighter double torch insert. So this had, so you, take the, you take your Zippo, you take the inside out, you set it aside, keep it for later. And then this is a butane torch insert that goes in it. So now you got the look and the feel of a traditional Zippo, but you got that nice butane torch kind of kind of flame on it. And you're not having to, to deal with the, liquid, the lighter fluid liquid stuff and that gets everywhere and it's a mess and everything. So this I think is a great, uh, you know, a great compromise between the traditional and the modern. All right, moving along. This is another thing that I think every man needs to have, and that is uh, a valet. Uh, this is basically, this is a leather tray. I like it because it's with the snaps, it, it makes it square. Then you unsnap it, it folds flat, so you can take it with you. You can travel with it. And I love having these things because, you know, as they say, as my grandfather said, a place for everything and everything in its place. And I can tell you, and my wife's sitting right over here, and she's going to, stare daggers in my back when I say this. I always know where my keys are. I know where my wallet is. I know where my cell phone is. You walk in, you have a place for it, and you put the stuff in its place. And then later when you're looking for it, it's right there. Mind blowing, right? It's it's like that. I don't I don't understand how some people don't get it. you gotta have you know, you got to have these systems in your place to keep things organized. And I keep, I keep telling the kids, you know, when we're dealing with the tools, when you're done with the tool, it goes back. So you, next time when you need it, you know where it is. And the same thing with your, your everyday care kind of stuff, your keys, your wallet, your rings, everything. You have one of these nice little leather valets. It looks nice. It feels nice. It's what, $16.50. You, you put it by the front door, you put it on your dresser in, in the bedroom, wherever is your spot, and you put your stuff there every day, and it never disappears. Some It's like a miracle. I don't know. It's It's got to be magic, clearly. All right, next up. This is something the wife just got for me. I got an early Christmas present, and I got to tell you, if you don't know, I got giant bear Sasquatch kind of feet. Uh, and, uh, in fact, typically in shoes, I would wear a 15 triple wide, uh, but finding that in boots is really difficult. So we stepped up a size, went double wide because it's the widest they have. I've been looking for boots, good, solid work boots for the longest time. This is the first pair I've been able to find. They've got a composite toe. The, 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 the shaft on the boot isn't super high, uh, which makes it easier to get on and off. It's got a great grippy sole. I was just trudging around in uh, two to three feet of snow with these things. Worked like a charm. They're waterproof or water resistant at the very least. Anyway, I'm, I'm thrilled with them. At $140, I, I think that was a steal for the quality of these boots. Considering Now, granted, I haven't worn them for years and years and years. I can't really say anything about that. But what I can say is that they fit. They're comfortable. They were grippy. I thought the texture, honestly, when I saw the, the, the sole on these, I did not think they'd be all that grippy because it looks like just like a, almost like a sneaker kind of sole. But they actually have little edges to each one of those little squares and stuff in there. And it gripped the ice and snow. And let me tell you, the ice around here gets bad. There's all sorts of videos of people just busting their backsides because they slipped on the ice. We have these old vintage awnings coming off of buildings. And as the snow melts, they drip. It, the water drips off the side, hits the sidewalk, and turns into sheets of black ice. It's terrible. Anyway, I, I can't say enough about how, how happy I am about having a pair of boots finally that fit, that are comfortable. Love the composite toe. This is a great thing. All right, next up, what do we got next? We got... Boom. Okay, I've talked about, if you've been around the channel, you know I've been talking about these. I love these knives, all right? I love to cook. Now, I'm not allowed, I don't know how this happened. 
somehow over the course of our relationship, I've not been banned from cooking inside. So I have to go in the outside and cook. So you know what? I don't have all my nice knives and all that kind of stuff outside. So what do I have? I have some knives like this. I, they're basically large pocket knives that are chef's knives. And if you've seen any of my cooking videos, you've seen that in there. They're great for slicing up a steak, you know, I, and for all sorts of stuff, trimming fat. I do all sorts of stuff with it, cooking with them and then eating with them. I love them. They come in this nice rosewood kind of handle. There's a 7% off coupon. Down for, but look at this. they got other stuff. they got the, the more pointed kind. They've got a serrated one. They've got, look at a four knife set there. Uh, there's they got all sorts of options here. These are really cool. I'm I'm kind of infatuated with them. I think if you got somebody who likes to cook or likes you know doing any kind of chef kind of stuff, especially with like camp or cook outside, I can't see them not liking a gift like this. All right, somebody if you got somebody in your life who's getting into cooking, all right, and they're, and they're thinking about it, especially if they're getting into cooking outdoors, because. I love Lodge cookware, all right? Made in the USA, cast iron. It's simple, it's inexpensive. This whole set, the whole set here, five piece bundle is $79. That's ridiculous and they're great quality. I know a lot of cast iron snobs will be out there going, well, you need to have this. And you, I've been cooking with Lodge for years. I've got vintage Lodge, I've got new Lodge. We use it in the camper, we use it at home. Uh, I'm gonna even set up a, a little cook station down at their new shop so I can cook my lunches and stuff down there. Guess what I'm gonna be cooking on? Lodge, because it's simple, it's easy, and it just works. And you know what else? You can you can put high, super high heat on it and it's just fine. Once you get that seasoning on it, it it's practically as good as nonstick. Not quite, all right? I, I don't think there's any cast iron that's quite that good as a, as a, as a fully 100% nonstick pan. But for the stuff that I make, it's just fine. And for $79, what a great gift for someone looking to get started. Now, remember I said, not quite as perfect as nonstick, and that's because of, I'm gonna talk about this. So this is the Tramontina, I don't know, Tramontina, I guess. I don't know, I'm not Italian. Anyway, as you can see, I bought this for the wife for a Christmas present, early Christmas present. And because every morning she makes eggs and eggs this, eggs that, blah, blah, blah. Eggs are the worst thing in the world. You want to make an omelet, like a scramble, whatever. They, they're always sticking. She doesn't like working with cast iron. All right. So we, I got her a, this is a professional grade non-stick pan. This thing is nice. That silicone handle there, it comes off so you can have direct access to it. Here's the thing with this. Again, these, they have to season them. You have to put oil in. It's not, not quite as lengthy a process as it is with the cast iron, but you are supposed to season these. You're also not supposed to use them with high heat, but if you're cooking with eggs, you're not gonna be using high heat. So don't be searing steaks and stuff in it. But this is this is our dedicated nonstick pan. You can do pancakes in it, you can do eggs in it, you can do French toast, any of those kind of breakfast kind of things or anything that's light, fluffy, that would normally stick. That's what this pan's for. It's not for anything else. We got a silicone spatula to go with it. Never use metal on these. You take care of them, they'll take care of you, okay? $32.95 for a professional grade pan. My wife loves it, it is awesome. All right, next up, every guy needs to have a DOP kit, all right? I mean, I don't know, that that's what I grew up calling them. I don't know why they call them DOP kits. It's a, it's a men's, uh, you know, uh, toiletry bag, basically. And, uh, you know, this is a good solid version. I like, there's two different types. There, there's this type where it's got the double pull zipper, leads in a nice, nice wide opening. And there's the kind that's got like the, I always call them gator mouth because the, there was a bag called gator bag back in the days that it, where it's got a, the built-in frame. So you open it up and it stands open. But I like this style. It's a little more rustic looking. It's got a nice leather grab handle on the side. Good, uh, a lot of space for storage in it. Uh, a lot of so a little bit extra compartments on it. It's nice solid bag. Every man should have one of these. This is you know I live out of it. my my wife and my daughter will just take over the whole bathroom. I need this much space. All right, and yet and and think about it. I have that much space. Everything I need would fit in that bag, and I still look this good. Consider that for thirty two ninety nine. If the man in your life doesn't have this, get it for him. All right. Next up, talking about classics, you know. Yeah, it's winter, but spring's gonna be around the corner, fishing, camping, all that kind of stuff. Nothing quite says camping like a classic Coleman cooler. 
It's not cheap. It's not. But if you like that classic look, I mean, just looking at this makes me think that I'm in the outdoors. I just, I'm having flashbacks to the lake with my grandfather and all this kind of stuff. Because that is, that's just it. Coleman coolers like this. I don't know. Uh, you know, I've got the nice, cool electric kind of stuff. And, the, you know, you plug it in the car and it's a refrigerator and everything else. But something about these always screams just classic outdoorsy kind of stuff. $175 on that. I don't know. You got to decide whether it's worth it to you. Uh, it comes in red, comes in gray, but the green, you got to go with growing Coleman. You got to go with the green, right? All right. That little bit of fun. I, does, does this shirt not say at all? I enjoy romantic walks through the hardware store. That, you know, that's real romance, especially when your wife will go through the hardware store with you. That that's that's true love. All right, now you failed at everything else. You know this whole list. I failed you. Everything else failed. You're like, I don't know what to get them. What am I gonna do? Well, what's the old standby? Get them a gift card. But I got you covered. Lowe's gift card, hundred dollars. But but when you buy this gift card, Amazon's gonna give you ten dollars bounce back credits uh, within three days when you spend hundred dollars more. Select gift cards you will get an Amazon coupon for $10. So you're going to get, you, you, it's the gift that gives back to you. How about that? Uh, and this is what I always talk about also. Like for those of you out there who've been looking to get stuff like at Lowe's, it used to be you could just go out and you get a 10% off coupon. All right, you just, you, you, there are little you know, hoops you jump through, you get a 10% off coupon. Especially if you've been looking for like one of those Delta table saws that everyone wants because they're awesome. But there's never a sale on them anymore, and there's no coupons out there. Well, you buy some of these, you get $10 back, you're going to shop on Amazon anyway, so that's essentially a 10% off coupon. Use your credit card to buy these. It's got travel or points on it. Now you're getting money back again. All right. And last but not least, if you've been watching the video here, you've been noticing maybe our new black on black tool bear hat. Yes, over at denoftools.com backslash shop this we got all the stuff here we got the twill hat we've got we've got it in black on black and then we got it on the brown the traditional one brown on black the coffee mug i i the i know i, I made the joke before about coffee mugs i absolutely love that coffee mug and i would show you here but i left it in the camper uh i gotta get another one because i love that thing i absolutely love it's a tin style kind of enamel camp, camping mug i love that we've got uh, hoodies we've got stickers and magnets uh, copies of my book, The Home to Serve's Workbook. And then also, so this is this is the one on our website. Then there's the one that's associated with YouTube. If you're on YouTube below the pictures, there's always like, oh, you can buy this merch. Well, if you go to that page, it's a, it's a separate uh, merch store. And we've got the Bear Coffee Mug, the Shine On Coffee Mug, the Shine On Sweatshirt that you've probably seen the wife wearing. We got some other shirts, a zip up hoodie, and we have another. Now this is a new one, a black on black. So this one is Velcro in the back, and that one is a the kind of the kind of clasp on it. But it's kind of weird. I don't know why he's showing up with a hot or purple nose on it. I think because the the artwork doesn't have that. I'm waiting to get a, my copy of it so I can see what it looks like. Anyway, and we have the tumbler there. So. Anyway, just some more gift ideas. If there's some other gift ideas that you think are great gift ideas, put them down below. If there's a great one in there, I'll pin it for you. And as always, the links are down below. Anyway, thanks for joining us today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.